What's going on, Foodie Fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with another best and worst rated restaurants right here in my state. Now, we done covered some foods already. Hopefully, you got a chance to check out those old previous videos. I do drop a new video every single day, Monday through Friday. So, you might have missed a little something, something. Don't worry, it's still up. Now, uh, we did... The other day, the best rated tacos are those tacos from Fuego Picante. They had it going on like hot butter popcorn in the early morn. Extra salted, extra buttery. Uh, yeah, that means it's time to do the worst. And let's go ahead and read these reviews over here and yelp. And we're going to have to check this spot out for ourselves, which happens to be called Guacamole. I say a Guacamole's Mexican Cuisine. I never heard no good tacos coming out of that area, but uh, <clears throat> hey, look, we've had the worst rated be the best before, right? So let's find out. This first one, three star. Have ordered tableside guac a number of times here. Response from waiter, avocados are hard, so no go. All right, so basically, they're not trying to make no tableside guacamole, yet you're called guacamole. I, I'm a little messed up over that one, fam. I don't know how you guys feel, but if the name guacamole is in your restaurant title, yet you can't make tableside guac, we're already off to a bad start. That's all I gotta say. Next one, one star. Below par food. I was here on Thursday night before the movies to grab a drink while I had an hour for my show and my wife's out shopping. I ordered guacamole to go with my drink and it was too bland. There were big chunks of avocado where I had to use a fork to mash it up myself. Looked like the staff didn't care to do the only basic step to make guacamole. Also, no seasoning like salt or lime juice. It's just chunks of avocado, tomatoes, and jalapenos. Order spicy. Definitely never going here again. Once again, we have more issues with the guacamole, and you're called guacamole. Like, I don't know, fam. I really don't know what to expect. Y'all already know I don't like avocados to begin with, but, I mean, if that's their main dish here, I'm going to mess with them. But, uh... Let's read this next one. Hey, next one is a five star, right? Five piece. The restaurant is the best Mexican restaurant in Connecticut. The food was incredible. Everything cooked fresh and flavorful. The service was excellent. Our server, Ismail, was very knowledgeable and friendly. The overall ambiance of the restaurant is very welcoming. The prices are very reasonable. And for the quality of fresh food, an amazing deal. We will definitely be back here soon. All right, so at least somebody has something good to say about this spot. They, their experience, everything was right on time, no watch necessary. We're going to read one more review, and then we're going to slide on over to Brantford, Connecticut, and see what the guacamole Mexican restaurant is here for. Ooh, this last one is a one star. I love this place, but unfortunately, a visit in May ended in severe food poisoning. Oof, for both my daughter and I. Don't know if it was the chicken flautas or the chili rellenos. I, I done tore both them words up. My bad, family, my bad. Beans, rice, or the lettuce on the side, or salsa, but man, we were horrifically sick for three weeks. This was on May 23rd of 2023, and symptoms started about six hours later. By Friday, May 26th, we were so sick, we made my husband come back home from work thinking he may need to take us to the hospital, as neither of us had been able to keep anything down or in for days. I am truly sad about having to report this. I know how hard it is for restaurants to operate, and especially with the hit from the pandemic to their business. We did report it to the health department. I thought long and hard about posting this, but this was a serious case of food poisoning for both of us. I'm hoping no one else got sick. No, I won't be going back. Fam, that read like we're in for something, and I'm hoping that's not the case because I really want to be here for you guys to drop hot food reviews every single day. And this was... August 28th of 2023. So I'm hoping changes have been made. Food is properly cooked. Uh, the temperatures are all I got. Eh, I hate reading that anybody got food poisoned from any given establishment. But we're going to slide to the spot. And you already know me. Our first taste of something is, ugh, I'm not even messing with it. So let's hope we dodge that bullet. If there's a bullet to dodge. Sit back, relax, get comfortable. There's only one way to get to Guacamole's Mexican restaurant. And that's for us to cue the music. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Never switch on the homies in the day ones. They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum. And coming, coming. 
come in, come in, keep it in, come in, come in, come in, come in, keep it in. Hey, what up, fam? It's your boy Drops in the building, man. We out here right now at 1201 Boston Post Road, Milford, Connecticut, at a spot called Guacamole's Mexican Cuisine in Milford. This joint is actually attached to what I like to call a zombie mall. Don't nobody be coming out here shopping no more like that, but at least they still come out for the food, I guess. Yeah. 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 It's been a long time coming. It's been a long, long time. I'll be getting down, I'll be getting down This is how, this is how It is really done, they can't figure out They don't understand So they want me down and out hey. We ain't going out like that We ain't going out like that So the spot opens up at 11 o'clock Came in at 11 o'clock, started doing the pre-filming As you can see, my man was like I don't know, cause food ain't ready yet Don't worry about it, man, you know what I'm saying? We in the building we're here for the experience. We're here for the food. We're here to get my hungry on. Just brought the menus over. And my man was like, yo, food ain't ready yet. I, I didn't expect the food to be ready yet. I ain't gonna lie to you. However, if your opening hours are at 11 o'clock and or 10 o'clock or 10.30, whatever the case may be, food prep is always expected in any given establishment. Like, I don't mind waiting for fresh food. I don't mind waiting at all. But you want to have some things started up by 10. You know what I'm saying? Just so if you do have individuals that come in at 11, then boom, certain things will actually be ready to, to rock. So just things to keep in mind, no doubt. Yes, um, I have a water and a ginger ale, please. All right, I'm, I need to know, can I order different tacos? No. So all it has is just time. one time yes. taco? Oh, that, that's, that's gonna suck, because I need different tacos. All right, so they, they, they definitely don't accommodate you here. You know what I'm saying? If you want to sample, different tacos. No, that's not going to happen. Each one will come with three tacos of the same exact thing. Uh, my recommendation is for this particular location, for individuals that want to try different tacos while having to spend $20 per sets of three of one particular flavor, you might want to have a mix and match, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then price that out however you want to price it out, but allow individuals to get a taco of each different type for individuals like myself that don't want to just sit here and snack on one particular taco all the way through. So this right here is gonna be expensive for no reason, but I still wanna give you guys the comparison. Just like we yesterday, I'm saving this barrier action for the very end, but this is the shrimp taco. All right, matter of fact, I just wanna get one of the scrimps. One of the shrimp. Not as seasoned as with Fuego Conte, Fuego Conte shrimp. That joint was proper, this one just been Looks like it's just been lightly fried. Let's hit it, see what's going on. Lightly fried, right? But good, it's decent. Not heavily seasoned, but it is decent. I wanna go in for a full power bite. I won't even hold you, family. We definitely have a lot going on here. Let's go in for this bite of delight. Uh, much larger taco action. Mmm. Look like we're getting into some things. Hold on. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Like a like a garlic sauce of, of sorts. I'm getting a garlic flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I look at it like a creamy salad over my shrimp. That's how they set it up. In comparison to what I had the other day. That's not horrible. There's still a way to do that taco shell and hold it all together as they have shown. Our, our carbone with uh, plenty of grated cheese over the tortilla shell. Again, it's um, semi-soft and you guys can see that steak. I wanna kinda hit the skirt steak solo dolo to see if the skirt steak's been seasoned up crazy or not. The steak ain't got no seasoning on it, yo. No, no flavor to the steak. Plenty of chew. Ugh. I try to give them credit. 
on the tortilla shell, it just fell apart in my hand, family. This tortilla shell ain't holding nothing. It ain't holding nothing but bad thoughts and ideas about what it wanted to be in life, and it failed at that. Let's just go ahead and get a fork, mm -hmm. because apparently this is a, a taco that you can't eat like a taco. Yeah, this right here is an open face taco. Basically, just open the face of the taco and dig on in. Yeah, you have no business lifting up this taco. Taco, taco shell ain't even soft. Taco, taco shell fooled me. Yeah. How are you gonna have a, a taco shell that fooled me, family? <laughs> right? It was like the taco shell was there. I thought it was going to hold the components, our contents of this little skirt steak taco. It didn't. So let me go ahead and get some of this pico de gallo on here, or their version of, because it ain't full pico de gallo. I see the onions. I see the diced tomato. Hold up. And just to say we had the taco, let's just rip some of the tortilla. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna get up off into the rice family because hopefully the rice has more flavor than my skirt steak. There is no bite of delight here. This joint is just, it's a flavorless tomb for the womb. Usually the rice might have some soft grains. These, this rice right here. Look at a little clump lump right here. Family, I... No bueno. Mm, hard little grains. They're yeah, soft grains at all. These are just... A little kickback. They don't know how to season nothing back there. Nothing. That's what we got. They don't even try. They can at least get uh, a packet of seasoning from a store somewhere and season up some of their food back there. There's enough seed. I'm, I'm afraid to hit the barrier. The most seasoning I had came from my ginger ale. All right, y'all. I'm hoping the barrier taco could turn it all around. Let's get some of you solo before I taco you down. All right, y'all, this is a barrier. Hold on, let's, when I dip, you dip, we dip. When I dip, sometimes you gotta baptize the barrier, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. mm, hold on a second. Okay. Right. Mm hmm All right, I'm with that. That's some tender beef. Mm. That, that's well seasoned right there. The one thing they do right is barrier, I guess. They doubled it up yeah. so you can hold it as a taco sturdy. and it won't fall apart so it is sturdy. Look at that barrier activity. Doubled up something proper. Get it up in there, get wet. Get wet, get wet, get wet. Yeah. Yeah, this might be the best taco of the day. Mm. Tender beef, the onion, cilantro game is on time. Crispy taco activity. A taco holding a taco. Uh, you just, you just gotta get crazy with it fam. And this is the only one that's going to be worth the money today. Mm. Yeah, just, just get wet. Just get wet. Just get sloppy. Oh, yeah. Mm. Just like that. Just, just get a little sloppy with it. Don't worry about that. Hit that that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The saltiness in there. All the flavor is well connected and highly respected. The best thing that guacamole got going on for itself here in Milford mm. is a berry taco. Now let's go to Yelp. Well, we're back from guacamole's Mexican cuisine in Milford, Connecticut. Huh. Fam, I don't know how you felt about the looks of the food. I, I wish I could say something nice about this. I really do. The ginger ale was good. The barrier tacos with the consomme, like that, that was good. But that's about all. Like my shrimp was just so, so. Pico de gallo. Uh, just looked like the rest of the things were just kind of thrown in place. Nobody cared about how that steak was prepared. Steak came out blacker than my heart. I don't know what's going on. I have no no idea. Dry steak, like I, not even seasoned. They're afraid of the seasoning back there. I, I really honestly feel them. You know what? Let's just get into this Yelp review, fam. I'm, I don't even want to 
keep y'all waiting too much longer with this one, man. It's, I'm about to, they're about to get this word work. They're about to get this word work for real. Little, 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 let's give this review a little extra love, fam. Let's do that. Because they're getting the two out of me. Yeah, yeah, they're getting the two. And that two was for the, because the barrier saved them. If that barrier was nasty, I'd have gave him a one of your done, son. I ain't going to hold you. Honestly, where do I even begin? In the heart of culinary confusion lies guacamole's Mexican cuisine, a restaurant that promises a fiesta for the senses but delivers a funeral procession for your taste buds. Yeah. Upon entering, I was greeted by the unmistakable aroma of disappointment mingled with a faint hint of desperation. The decor attempted to capture the essence of Mexico but resembled more of a theme park ride. However, I must give credit where it is due for the abundance of seating provided plenty of room for me to contemplate my life choices. Let's delve into the culinary catastrophe that is the guacamole Mexican cuisine. Imagine, if you will, a dry skirt steak that seemed to have been marinated in the tears of disappointment, served alongside of rice and beans that were more akin to a crime against gastronomy than a side dish. The pico de gallo and ranchero cheese attempted to salvage this dish, but it was like putting lipstick on a pig, a futile endeavor. Next on the hit list were the Baja shrimp tacos. While they managed to elicit a sigh of relief after the horror show, they still fell short of culinary excellence. The shrimp, though having a decent little bite to it, lacked any resemblance to freshness. The soft flour tortilla, while commendable in texture, failed to elevate the dish beyond the realm of mediocrity. Fear not, foodie fam. For amidst this chaos, they're shown a glimmer of hope. My barrier taco, mmm. With beef barrier consomme flowing like a river of redemption, each bite was a symphony of flavor here. The onions, cilantro, lime, and cheese did their little dance in perfect harmony, creating a culinary masterpiece within my plates of wreckage. As for the customer service, uh, let's just say it was a masterclass in apathy. My waiter moved with the enthusiasm of sloths on a rainy day, his indifference matched only by the glacial pace at which they attended to patrons. A word of advice to the management, a smile goes a long way, fam, especially when your food falls short. I am done here. I'm, 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 done, I'm done. I'm done. I had to give him the word work on this one just a little because I didn't really know how I wanted to express myself, man. I was, I was taken back. I was taken back by just how they were moving. Like, there was nobody else there, dog. There was nobody else inside the restaurant. It was, you saw it. It was just me. So why everything, my drinks took a minute. And even when my drink was empty, my man didn't even come back to hit me with a refill. I had to wait till I saw him again to ask for the refill. For me, that's big. That's big for your tip. Like, I, I, you know, when it comes to the tip game for a waiter or a waitress, y'all, I go all out based on how they keep my drink full. That's it for me. I don't even, the food is what it is. My waiter or waitress can't do nothing about how my food comes out, but if my food comes out good or if my food comes out bad, unless they're in the back cooking it. But how they are attentive, especially when there's no one else in the restaurant, to just my drink, I'm going to bless you, love, love. There've been plenty of times my bill was like 20 bucks, $25, and I'd leave another $25 to match that just in the tip alone. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it doesn't get broken down by all the wait staff. Sometimes it does. I understand that. Sometimes you should just give that tip straight to them. But like, yo, just go ahead and hold that. I ain't even putting in the bill. I don't know how they move around here. Just that's you right there. Sometimes I do that as well. But this experience for me was just that bad. And I, I, I hope you felt it. For the way I broke down, I hope you felt it. And guacamole Mexican cuisine in Milford, I hope y'all felt it too. Get it together or forget it forever. It's your boy Drops, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow with another one.